I'm the sports information director at Manchester University and a member of the local organizing committee here for the tournament. Uh, joining me tonight from Swarthmore College is uh, head coach Landry Kosmolski, uh, senior Cam Wiley, and fellow senior Zach O'Dell. Uh, coach, if you could just uh, address, open up with uh, kind of your thoughts from uh, your win tonight. About what we thought, hard fought battle against a great team. Um, you know, Marcus Carter is a number two senior. We played against him two years ago. Obviously, a great player, um, well coached. His John is excellent. So we knew it was going to be about what it was, and um, I think we were fortunate enough some momentum because we were attacking offensively and also you know defensively. The you know the shot thirty two percent stuff that we've done most of the years really guarding people. Um, you know, with high, I think with high IQ and good toughness and good you know, team. Team of five mentality, um, and that was what carried us through some of the, the lulls offensively. Uh, media, we'll start with questions first for the student athletes, and then we'll follow up with questions for coach. Um, yeah, either of you guys, how, how difficult was it in the second half when they're throwing so many different defenses at you? Um, what did it have to? What did you have to do to adjust to that? Just attack. job of uh, preparing all year long to uh, go against anything we see. And I think that showed tonight. I mean, I didn't really notice anything defense too much. I think they were just playing tough, uh, man to man, just blowing up our stuff. And um, we just kept kept going, sticking with it, and just keep fighting. Zach, you were kind of really able to kind of have your way down there against the low post um, with whoever was guarding you. What was that working through today? What, you know, why weren't they kind of able to stop you there? Um, I guess uh, my teammates are just they keep throwing the ball into me, and they're such great shooters on the outside that it's tough to double. Um, and if they do double, I think Nate and I do a nice job of finding them, or at least trying to. And uh, so just being able to go one on one in the post, me and Nate are going against each other every day. Um, we got other bigs that are tough to guard, are tough to go by. I mean, uh, that you don't necessarily see in playing games. And uh, just going against those guys all year long really helps develop one on one skills. I think that um, showed today. Any more questions for our student athletes? Yes. Um, I mean, you guys are playing for the, the first national championship in basketball. What, I mean, how does it feel for you guys? It feels good. <laughs> uh, it feels great. Um, you know, I was a little emotional after the win. Um, you know, the coach is just fortunate to be with you know people we love, people we work every day. Um, you know, there's nothing better than experiencing that. Um, you know, we have people we call brothers, so it's just a really great feeling. Zach, would you want to add to that? Uh, I don't know if I can. I think Cam summed it up very nicely. Uh, we're just very excited. I'm um, going to try and cover right now, rest, and lock back in for tomorrow. I was just going to ask a follow-up. I, I saw a number of your former teammates in the stands even look like Zach was in from Ireland. Uh, what does it mean to have that kind of support? It's funny you even say that. So I found out that they were going to be here, but I wasn't allowed to tell the rest of the team. <laughs> Uh, they wanted to make it a surprise because those are just the type of guys they are. Um, you know, they're family. Um, so it was great to have them support uh, support us. You know, all the way from Ireland, and like Zach, uh, just shows how much he cares. Really. Um, so we get a chance to talk to them after the game, but you know, it's just you know they're really supportive. Really. Yeah. Oh, I think they just look just as hard as anybody else on the team right now to get us here, to get us where we are today as a program, and um, for them to be able to make it out and surprise us all is amazing.
trying to have a team of five or six to help get your guys shots. Yeah, with a player like that, you've got to make it as hard as possible. If he's going to you know, score, he's going to take some tough shots, and you've got to make, try to make every shot as hard as you can. All right, now we'll open up uh, questions for, for Coach. These uh, two game tournaments we've had the last four weekends, and I think we just you know trying to go two days in a row in the two games, and you know I think the ramifications of what it will be, you know, we'll, we'll wait till the game's over. Really, you know, we're just gonna you know a lot of people have been texting saying, hey, enjoy it, enjoy it, and really it's just um, we enjoy practicing and getting ready. You know, it's a, our assistant coaches do a great job. These guys do a great job focusing, and it's what we do every time, and it's there's a, a lot of fulfillment to do it the right way. So. Um, that's what we're going to do for tomorrow. We're not going to treat it any differently. Um, and, you know, just to add to that, something I left out in the opening statement is I think the difference we saw today, and we talked about it yesterday, is uh, our team spirit's really strong. We've got a tight group. So, um, you know, whether it's Chris Newport or Nichols or Randolph Bacon or whoever we play tomorrow, we want to make sure we're being who we are. Um, so, you know, the game and what it means doesn't have a lot of effect on us. We just want to treat it like a normal game. It's worked for us so far this year. Uh, talk about the sacrifice on this team. I think especially tonight with Ingram, maybe this year not having as big a part in the offense as he did last year, but an incredible defensive performance tonight with the charges and the big rebound at the end. Yeah, huge rebound at the end, yeah. Um, yeah, and Ryan is, you know, a perfect example of all of our guys where, you know, he, he, he didn't really get his bench and switched to the top because he enjoyed, not because he was doing poorly, just because of, um, you know, some lineup um, balance, really. Uh, and he's you know played his role to a T just like any of these guys would. He's just you know he's a defensive guy for us. He's a you know, do everything on offense, and um, I mean that's what everyone on our team just kind of fulfills their role. And he did it really well tonight, as you said. Um, did you notice anything from the team being in this environment and, and all the trappings that come with this week? Anything that you had to specifically overcome tonight? No, I think I think our guys have been great. We talk about you know just. If we've been doing well this year, we're not going to deviate now um, because it's supposedly different. Um, you know, we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing, and that's the most important thing. And you know, we were—I shared this with the guys. We were fortunate that uh, Coach Wright from Villanova uh, reached out and texted me, and I had never spoken with him, but he texted and um, you know just wished us luck. And I, of course, asked for advice. And the advice I told our guys, I said, "Who who would you ask for advice in the Final Four? Over the last five years, who's the first person? They all said, Coach Jay Wright. I said, well, he texted me. Here's what he said. So, you know, you get that kind of um, advice, uh, which I'm not going to share. It's a secret. Um, <laughs> but from, from someone like that, um, who obviously knows what he's talking about, to uh, re really help our group stay focused. Are you going to share tomorrow? Possibly. <laughs> I haven't really processed what all our guys did. I know, like, these guys mentioned we were attacking. You know, we want to make sure we're attacking. Um, I, the, the stat that jumped out at me and just looking here as, as these guys were talking was we had nine blocks. Um, you know, and, and Zach and Nate have done that the whole year. Um, and, you know, that's, that's a pretty big difference when they have zero blocks and we have nine. Um, so I think, you know, Nate and Zach protecting the rim, rebounding, and obviously I think, you know, really attacking them inside, both these guys, to get them in foul trouble. And as Zach said, those, they can do it because these guys can, and there's teammates out there that they can't really come off of. So, um, yeah, again, I think all the parts you know, fit well together. I, I just asked about the way Christopher Newport played. Uh, it seemed like there were a few times the last five or eight minutes that you could have put them away, and they just kept coming back. Um, what was it like to keep facing that challenge over and over? I don't know, you know, we were kind of taking it possession by possession. I think they were coming back because we got some fouls, which, um, you know, put them at the line. So they were scoring with the clock stopped. And then also offensively, uh, we got a little stagnant. Um, and we had to kind of, you know, run some quick hitters and, and go through some continuity to try to get some movement. But that's pretty much what our team's done this year is that we do have a stagnant point where you, we work through it and we keep attacking. And, you know, late in the game when everyone's tired, we push and Connor got three in the corner. I think Hands with Ryan and Connor. And, um, so, you know, we just got to, I can't say, we just, we just keep 
back to wherever we were in and it sounds crazy. And we tried to look at the scoreboard, and tonight I actually couldn't. I couldn't find the damn thing. Was, uh, the first thing was the okay. game. Well, I was up there, and then there's one across, but there's like you know 73 numbers on there, and so um, as we say, don't don't watch the scoreboard. I, we literally were were not able to tonight. Any final questions? No, you know, I think we got some good looks. Um, we had some, uh, I don't remember the first couple possessions. I thought it was, uh, maybe we missed the layup, or we, had, we thought it was turnovers. Turnovers, which, which have hurt us before, you know. So, But we, we also, you know, George had an open three that was missed, uh, and they came out and made some threes. One we lost, and the other one was kind of tough. So, you know, they scored six. I think maybe just put us on our heels a little bit, but as Kenny said, we're just going to sure keep going and not really worry about that. All right, thank you. Uh, media, a reminder that any individual one-on-one -on -one interviews can also be conducted outside the